How are you? Hey, Perry. What's up? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. No. Perry, right. I, I okay. can't. I, I can't. Not not today. Not today. Um, we got so much to talk about, and I didn't get a chance to upload my sponsor video. I don't know. So I'm sorry, Devin. I will get it next video. Um, but anyway, we got a lot to talk about here. So let me get all this stuff. Um, so last night's episode was really good. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about the worst person on the Real Housewives franchise history, okay, is the deplorable Diana Jenkins. She is disgusting. Okay, okay people, I'm not, there is not one single good redeeming quality about her. She is the worst. I mean, Andy Cohen, you ought to be a pr real proud of yourself, okay? So listen, so someone sent me this. Hold on, I'm on a different screen. Here we go. Someone sent me this article. I don't even know what language is written in. I'm like, uh-huh. Mm. I don't even know what language is in. Um, so I couldn't even read it. And so someone said, Sherelle, you need to read this article about Diana. And, you know, there's some things in here you need to know. And I'm like, read it? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> like, how am I going to read this? Um, I, and I can't tell you what language this is. I don't know. It's not Spanish. I speak Spanish. This isn't Spanish. But there's nothing I can recognize. I don't know what this is. So I put it in um, Google Translate. And you have to go under detect the language first. And then it translates. Okay, what they're saying about Diana. Now, the things that we heard can't get any worse, okay? She's the worst of the worst. You're a madam, and you worked, uh, you tricked very young women into uh, the, this lifestyle, and once they get in, they couldn't get out. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the worst, okay? And then we heard about how she, uh, her husband, uh, they basically was a marriage of convenience. Uh, he would introduce her to all these people. And then we talked uh, about how she tried to save her money in 08. We know about all that. And I think mm -hmm. it does, can't get any worse. It gets worse. So I put this in Google Translate and I read the article. They're saying that now P files, that does mean you're messing with children, right? Yeah. So I can't determine that to mean very young women. That's nothing pleasant. Kids, it's nothing right? pleasant. No. They're saying that for so, she had some kids do some unthinkable things for people's fetishes. Right. Children. Right. I, I understand it. That's Just why it's a, it, it's a high dollar business. What do you mean? Well, OK, like for any fetish, like if you want a specialty ice cream cone, you're going to pay more for it than just getting a regular one from 7-Eleven. Right. <sighs> These people that get into this this sex business, uh -huh. it goes, I mean, it goes on and on from the fetishes, from sucking toes to but whatever, but whatever. Children. But children. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying from that. And then it goes from all age brackets. That's that's disgusting. All weight, it goes from all weight classes. Just everything. I'm saying everybody is just a different thing that they just promote out there. And to me, it's like she was an Amazon worker, you know, when she started off delivering the packages and she worked her way up the chain. Now she's running the shop. I, I can't even laugh. This is deplorable. She needs to be in prison next to Elon Maxwell. Mm -hmm. She's disgusting. And, and name the most deplorable things I hate. I hate racism. She's racist. I hate people that do things to children. This is you, Diana. You are deplorable. You are disgusting. I don't, I'm going to put this in my link, in this link in my description, and you guys can Google Translate it. So you type in Google Translator, and then you type in uh, detect the language to English, and it'll all come up. She is deplorable. She's disgusting. Mm -hmm. I can't, oh my God. We need to start doing something. And why would you bring your little musty, disgusting, pathetic ass on television when you know you have this background? You're disgusting. Well, they think and they 
above life. Like, you know, when you start from nothing and make millions, people forget where they come from. Mm -hmm. Her thing is now that she got these dollars, she's better than everybody. So she thinks she's untouchable. Disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. She is a deplorable human being. Bravo needs to be ashamed of themselves. I cannot with her. It's just disgusting. And now you are forcing children to do unthinkable acts? Children! She don't care about that. It's all about, you know, and then sometimes, like, when you make that kind of money, it's not even about the clout. It's about impressing the person that you're feeding into their fetish about. Like but this goes this, deeper than that. Okay? They care about getting, huh? This goes what? deeper than that. Okay. I'm pissed at Bravo. I think you guys are disgusting. But Lisa Renna has an undying protective sheer over this woman. She's protecting this woman, introduced her to Bravo, um, th thought it was chummy. We're going to get into the episode uh, mm -hmm. that she wrote that no note, that lying note about her being can't make it to Garcelle's party. And Lisa said, oh, my God, she's just as bad as me. I love it. No, yeah. no, no. You were in the book. Lisa, you are a special kind of stank. Yeah, for real. But sure, you're, you get you're just as bad as her. I thought Lisa Renna couldn't get any worse than what she already is. No, a person like that can't get no worse when a person is willing to sell their soul for a dollar. It's, and it's that's, no Lisa that. that's, that's Lisa Renna. That's Lisa Renna, yeah. I'm sure there's no man she won't blow for a little fame and attention and a little money. Do anything. You are protecting a woman that mistreated children. I can't. I can't. Loving Sudden rich. every episode. I love Sudden. We're going to get into that episode in yeah. a minute. But shame on you, Bravo. Shame on you. Like, oh, my God. What, what do we have to do to get Bravo to realize that you're deplorable, Andy Cohen? Do we, we, do we have to see you next? Like, Nene? <laughs> do, I think I'm going to sue Andy Cohen because he is just being reckless with these people. You uh -huh. bring on a madam. That's bad enough. That forced <laughs> young women into sex trafficking. Uh huh. But now people are saying that you had children do unthinkable acts. Girl, stop, stop. Just stop. Just shame on you. You are trash, and that's being nice. Yeah. You're worse than trash. You are just deplorable. And I don't care what happened to you back in Bosnia. That little sad, so I don't give a damn. You're disgusting and you need to be in prison. Yeah, well, you said it. <sighs> it's disgusting. Hey, Diva, I know you're busy. <laughs> we have to flood the site, Sherelle, and say, Diana, the villain has to go. She has to go. She has to go. And you mean to tell me that a black blogger, yeah, that's what I am, Diana, proud black blogger. A black blogger can find out all of this stuff and Bravo knew nothing? No, 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 no. Stop. Girl, stop. You are deplorable. You are messing with children. And that a kind of person like that does not have a soul. Let's talk about this episode, how Sudden is the only one that stood up to her, this deplorable, disgusting human being that goes by the nickname Diana. That's her, Diana's her nickname. I think her well, birth name might be bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but Garcelle, I mean, Garcelle and Sutton, I'm starting to love those two more and more. Yeah. Each, each episode. Well, each listen, episode. I, okay, so let's talk about, uh, where are my notes? Here we go. Uh, let's talk about Garcelle's party in a minute. So I really okay. am not that fond of Garcelle. I want her to stand up more. I want her to be more like me, like a straight girl from Detroit. You know, I wanted you to slap the hell out of Diana. But I have to realize she gave one of the best parties. They really did a soul train line. Ah! <laughs> but before I get yeah. to it, let's talk about this. Uh, Bonji says, it takes a horrible person that abused kids. She's yeah. more than horrible. She is deplorable. She's the worst of the worst. I don't 
I have a strong distaste for anybody that does anything to children. You are disgusting. You are the worst of the worst. And, and how dare you fix your mouth, Eddie Cohen, to say that we're better than love and hip hop. No, you're not. You're worse. Right. For sure. You have a madam on here that's forcing children into doing deplorable acts. And you want to raise your head up high because you guys live in a city called Beverly Hills. You guys are worse than any other franchise. Beverly Hills is the most ghetto, groundiest. I don't know if I just made up a word. I didn't sound like it. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> of the, Beverly Hills is the worst out of all the franchise. Worse than Mary being married to your, your, her grandfather. So what? Worse than yeah. Utah with eight wives and all. I don't care. Did you see her hiding her bag around black people? No. Of course. No, no, no. I wouldn't. I mean, I think the guy could have asked her, should I take it to the car or something like that? If something happened, but it wouldn't shock me because she's totally fake. She's straight horrible. up racist. She's racist. And straight up a hoe. Hoe. And okay. a, a child uh, a Yeah. Takes advantage of children. Yeah. You mm -hmm. take advantage of children and you, and no one cares about your surgery. I don't like, I don't care anything about you. I don't if care what happened to your brother. You're disgusting. If it's true, Sherelle, if it's true, like, you know what? And I, you know, people say, well, no, you can't just question that pair. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Because if she knew she was 12 weeks out and all this, why the hell take your ass to the party? And you had went to other things before the 12 weeks. So I don't know. I, I think she's full of excuses. And then because she thinks she's cute. And got this money that everybody just go for the little bullshit accent talking like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Green Acres, just talking this crazy shit like that people buy it, right? No, they don't buy it. They're scared to speak up. They are scared of Diana. Kyle is the worst kind of coward. What she does is if she wants someone gone like LVP, she'll mm -hmm. have other hide behind others. Uh -huh. I, I agree with, I think it was Lily who said last week, I don't remember who said it, that Kyle doesn't even like her own sisters, but no, she's she too coward to stand up and say it. Mm -hmm. I can't. Anyway, um, so supposedly at the beginning of the show, she was upset, uh, Sudden was upset because she wouldn't let her sit with them on the plane. But then at the end, the real reason came out. She's kind of upset with Sudden because when she was trying to tell us her sad story, her sob story about her brother, which I don't give a damn about. And I usually have a bleeding heart for people that lost family members. I don't give a damn. Sudden stole her shine by talking about her father. See, this girl is, dis she's disgusting. She's deplorable. That letter that she wrote supposed to be attacking Garcelle. Listen, I'm telling you, I wished that it took one black girl to come across D Diana, like me, from the D. Not, not the kind like ourselves. I've accepted Garcelle's passiveness. You know, you got your reasons for not going off. Okay, fine. Let Sutton do it, Garcelle. But at least you're trying. And the, I, I softened up after the Soul Train line. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real black party. You have all these rich people in there going down the social channel. And did you see, uh, what's her name? Crystal's husband dancing? Rob. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> it, was, it was so good. Hey. <laughs> it was so cute. All of them, they cannot. It was just funny having them come down the soul train line. Not one person knew how to dance. Not, not even hum. Not even this. It was really, <laughs> it was entertaining. That, that yeah. part was entertaining. I was like, she really having these rich people come down the soul train line? Uh, yes, she did. <laughs> it was really <laughs> funny. But, um, and, and I, can't, I thought that Mariah Hawk's husband was the worst dancer on television. It might be Rob. <laughs> insane. Now back to Diana, who I cannot stand. Um, she's horrible. She's horrible. So she writes this letter to Garcelle saying, I, I'm going through all of this, and you know, and you're you think it's rude that I won't come to the party. She ends up going to the party. <laughs> 
but being a total asshole at the party. Let's watch this clip and then we'll get into her. She's the worst person on the planet, though she needs to be in jail. I might just start a, a campaign to get Diana in jail. Like, I'm gonna start writing my authorities. Like, look into this girl. I'm a blo I'm a black blogger, and these are the things that I'm being told. She needs to go to jail. L let's get to this clip because I I wanted to show this clip because Sutton calls her out. You're passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. And Sutton said, you're an asshole. And I she love is. It. Yeah. That was she my favorite is. part of the show. <laughs> she really is. Let, but I like Sutton calling her out. And Kyle, being the ass kisser that she is, what, what's the name we gave Kyle? Uh, butt plug. Butt plug. Butt plug? Why is butt plug trying to reason with the most deplorable person on the planet? And almost kind of sticking up for deplorable. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Like, Kyle, go somewhere. Go away. Just go away. Like, I can't. Let me show this clip really quickly. Aggressive, ridiculous. Oh, no, I'm aggressive. Okay. Back back to your right. texting. And I'm passive aggressive. aggressive. It was passive aggressive. No, it was aggressive. No. Everybody else thought it was bad. I I'm the only, only one that's. I actually stuff. don't think it was positive. It was very like bamboo. Yeah, but you can't respond to a text that says, "Oh, wait, 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 I'm in bed rest," and then go to sleep. Oh, yes, I did. God, you're you're really honey. I gave honey. You birth to a baby twelve weeks ago. Here we go. Yes, yeah, that like too much information for you? No, it's not. Oh, I actually have empathy for that. that. How dare you question my empathy? <laughs> oh my god! That's all I have is empathy. You have none. You're a soulless person. Stop! Hold up! That's a whole. That's a Hold really on. mean thing Sutton, to say. Sudden, you Sutton. cannot say that. No, you cannot say someone is a soulless person. She nailed it. Guess who she can? Soulless. Soulless yeah. doesn't give a damn about anybody but herself. You don't care about children, and you're a woman taking advantage of other women. This girl is soulless. I cannot stand Diana Jenkins. Good job, Bravo. Good job. You picked a winner. Like, Diana Jenkins is the worst person throughout the entire franchise. And she's on the show for a reason. And I can't figure out the reason yet. Maybe she wants to turn the housewives into some hookers. Maybe she's well, looking for more clients. It's that too. And I think part of it is just that because like most people get bored with money, like because now she don't have to actually get on her knees anymore. Like and like she did. So now she pimp everybody else out. She get a little <laughs> bored with that. Now it's all about the book that she don't want to talk about. If you notice in the last couple of episodes, they keep mentioning room 23. Right. Even the I think the cake or oh no no she, she gave the book to, to Garcelle right. for her. But the, the, they do it for promotion reasons. The book's five hundred dollars. She's uh, greedy. Uh, now she don't want you to talk about it. She wants you to look at the photos and order some of her um, clients. But <laughs> no, I'm just saying that is it's really ridiculous. I can't put my finger on why she's on national television. I really can't. I, I, I just, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. She need the attention. She's getting attention. Well, no. Blowing this, and sucking and. Before this show, I knew nothing about her. Yeah. None. But, but she, a person she like that, when you get money that you don't, you know, got off other people laying on their back. I really, I, I don't know, Perry. I want you to reconsider. Diana might be on this show to solicit housewife clients and her first victim would probably be erica well, did you see I, how erica was acting at the party i look at it that she's seen the show a couple times she's like huh who is these bitches thinking they all that i'm diana i got 240 million dollars then she came on to outshine them that's my opinion did you see how kyle uh erica's acting at the party Mm -hmm. Did you see her cozying up to the bartender for free drinks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> like, I, I'm thinking she's looking for new clients and Erica might be her first victim. Erica was putting it on the bartender. 
so much so I had to take a picture of it to be sure that we talk about it. Erica is acting like a tramp, okay? Mm -hmm. And we didn't even need Diana on the show. Let's just say it was just Erica. Mm -hmm. And that's enough entertainment for me. She's cozying up, spreading her <laughs> legs. Did you see Kyle doing the splits again? I can't. <sighs> Bonji says, why is that man child doing with her? Strange. The, uh, oh, she's talking about Diana's husband. It's very strange. It's very strange. First of all, isn't she 50, a 50 year old having a baby? This is girl is disgusting. I'm thinking she's out, wants to be on television or more clout for some celebrity hookers, real housewife hookers. She's probably trying to talk them into it already. This girl has a motive for being on television and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I don't know what it is. But she has a motive because I would not bring her deplorable ass on national television knowing the things that she has done. I mean, but me personally, I, I think it goes back to where she got enough money, Sherelle. She didn't have to go on the show. I think it's a person that's attention starved. And you say, well, how can you be with all this money? Uh -huh. She don't go to stores. She don't do all this. So she's not getting this attention. And she's oh. not lined up in these glass boxes with 25 girls trying to impress, like they get this little satisfaction out of, they pick me, they pick me. But seeing how she's no longer living that life herself, she just, you know, pimping out others. That's it, what, and she, she's the person that takes advantage of people. So right. she's on this show. She went on national television for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but it has to do with taking advantage of somebody. Right, then I agree. That's what she does. And, Maybe and, she needs more clients. She's on there for some reason. It's greed for sure, but attention has a lot to do with it, in my opinion. She she <sighs> needs to be this attention whore. Let, <laughs> Hello, Harry? Yeah. I don't know what happened. My screen went blank. Here it is. Let me bring up taco meat. Hold on. <laughs> no. It's taco meat. Let me bring up taco meat. <laughs> Taco me! Taco me out oh, today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was up, like, did y'all? I I just joined, so I don't know if y'all talked about the purse. She did not want to leave her purse around all those color folks. She was all like, and she was like, no. She was like, no, Hector, don't leave my purse right here. It's worth a quarter of a million dollars. These Negroes are gonna take it. You know, <laughs> well, she didn't say that part, but she said, don't leave the purse right there because it's worth a quarter of a million dollars. So. She's horrible. Did you see the first part of my show when I talked about how uh, someone sent me this uh, article that was in a different language? I don't know what language this is. No. And they sent me a, this article. Let me pull it up. And so I translated the article, and they're saying that she forced children. Children. It, it, it's so horrible. Hold on. Hold on, Freddie. Let me put this up and then I'll bring you up. She forced children. I got to put this on the screen. And I don't even know what language this is. Look at this, AT. What language is this? I don't even know what language it is. But they were saying, you have to read this, Sherelle. You have to read. Thank you for the super chat, GD. She forced mm. children into doing deplorable acts with clients. Disgusting. <sighs> Disgusting. Someone's asking me to zoom in. I don't know. I hate what to say, is. like, I'm surprised, but I'm not because this woman lets us know that she is evil. Like, I don't right. think she hides that she she's an evil woman. Evil. I'm going to start a letter campaign. She, I'm going to start a letter campaign with the authorities and with Bravo. She needs to be under the jail. And right. does this language look familiar to you? I don't know what I want to say. That's not even Russian, huh? I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I but put it in Google Translate, and she uh, has something to do with uh, p the P word. And that means children, right? Right. It, it doesn't right. mean young people. P means children. Children, yeah. Right, right. Hold on. Let me see if Freddie heard about this. Freddie, hey. have you heard about this? Someone I said it's Croatian. So 
Um, I think it's either Croatian, Bosnian, it could be as well, as I think there are a lot of similarities to the language with Croatian and Bosnian. And considering she is from Bosnia, it, that is the type of thing that they could right. be reporting if that's what she's doing over there. Did you hear about her deplorable acts with children, forcing them uh, to do? No, I've never. I, I mean, listen, I think we've all heard some very bad stories about jo Diana Jenkins. But when it comes to children, no, I haven't. However, that's what this with the whole saying. That's what the article is saying. But I haven't heard anything more concrete than just this article that's out there. She's disgusting. Disgusting. Her behavior today, I mean, on this last week's episode, Sutton was just trying to talk to her. Some people might be, right. what does that say? I mean, check. Check. Check, check Republic. Yeah. There's a Z in there. Okay. The way she was acting, the way she's picking on Garcelle. Right. For no reason. For no reason. You oh, no, cannot reason. deny her racism. Reason. Um, I mean, Diana, we know that she's an awful person. She's evidently racist based on the comments mm -hmm. she's made. She's a soulless person. And she was she was baiting Sutton as well in that whole conversation. She I was like, right. faces well. like she was in yeah, high and school. And then she was like, you need a new villain. Here I am. <laughs> Right. She rehearsed that line like about 30 times before she got to that party. You Say can tell. Again, Freddie. You need a new villain. <laughs> Here I am. Diana thought she killed it with that line. She was like, oh, I know I'm going to kill him with that line. He was line. like, yes. Uh -huh. I've, I've got a big line that's going to be used. But I was telling Perry, she knows you're a madam. You know about the book. You know all of this. Why are you on television? She okay. has a re what do you think it is? I'll give you my exact reason. And I think it is down to the fact that this woman, she's got everything she wants. She's got fam a family. She's got houses. She's got all this money. She's got celebrity friends. She's, you know, had a successful career as well. It's so it sort of goes at, like not just illeg like illegitimate, like criminal stuff she has had le very legitimate businesses as well because she was o uh, owner at one point of this bikini company called melissa odabash which is very well known mm. um and i think she's now basically sort of what's her next thing i want to be a celebrity i'm bored of being right. in elton she's or friends with the kardashians. kardashians she wants to be a kardashian I mean, she's, she's friends not with even the Kardashians. With, she's no, but I mean, I think she's more of an associate. I don't think she's friends. I mean, you don't really see them pictured that uh, often. Well, she she's let them rent the house. The Remember, that's the that's the Karda the Kardashians where they film. That's her house. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't yeah. mean they're friends with them. But the Kardashian is not going to let her around their man. I mean. <laughs> I think there was a deal involved with that. I think the Kardashians wanted to use a, a different house that wasn't their houses to film for like a holiday type special, but they couldn't because of the pandemic. So they went to Malibu and then they were sort of looking or Kim mentioned it to Diana at some charity fundraiser. And, and then Diana was it said, well, you know, if I can give you my house to rent and if you sort of, if you you can have it for free, but you've got to speak to NBC to get me on to. That's what that's, that's what uh, she's saying. She's trying to push her way into right. the entertainment business, and I think to find more hookers. I think it's like for Erica. attention. It's for attention, Sherelle. Well, I think with so you... Erica, what she wants to do there is is that Erica, Erica, I think willingly wants to sign up to this scheme of diana's oh, i think she, she erica's acting like she wants to be he's <laughs> so he's diana jenkins as an inspiration <laughs> right <laughs> don't we all want a rich friend that's what erica wants she wants a rich friend to spoil no. her and take care of her and link her up with those high-end clients you know exactly. come on erica's acting like a, a, a she wants to be an escort i'm really right. not joking <laughs> <laughs> she sees Diana as a role model, as I've said before, down to the fact that Diana, she, she, you know, married rich, gold digged, hustled, got half, 
half 150 million quid. Whereas mm -hmm. Erica went for a guy that's like old enough to be her granddad. Right. And then, look how old is <laughs> and then, I mean, he Tom <laughs> is older than her parents. So he looks like it too. He looks like it too. Again? What? He looks like her parent. I mean, he's older than Tom. Is Tom Girardi is older than her parents? Erica's trying to bag her another old rich man. Okay, right. And, and, and she wants some old because she want to get tied up with him, and then she don't want a young one. Then you know it takes longer for him for them to go bye bye. So she want an <laughs> older. One. You know what I'm saying? Perry, stop. <laughs> but I mean, Perry's right. Like, she, she's looking for another man that either has dementia or on life support. Exactly. So then she can get the money and then be able to do. She messed, she messed up her bag. She thought Tom was the way to go. But then she started to realize he was a criminal, allegedly, and was all like, damn, I messed this one up. I need to find another one that's on his, so wait, you know, last leg. She wanted to find her another old guy so he could hurry up and die? No, no, that, yes. that and, and until, until that time goes, when he go bye-bye, she want them to have dementia. So when they go, honey, I feel where so was you at last night? She knows she was at the hooker lounge. But, oh, honey, I was right there with you. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what I mean? Just, she yeah. got to find somebody like that. Mm -hmm. I got a long line. I'm sorry. Erica wants early. to be with anyone, and she doesn't care how old they are or how rich they are. I mean, even if it was like some billionaire That's dictator bad. in Russia, she'd probably go for him <laughs> if it meant having right. her lifestyle funded a certain <laughs> that way. Then she wants an old guy just so he can hurry up and die. Right. No, no. So, no, think about it. Why? I mean, you know, let's keep it real, people. You know, once you get past stop. 40, the times and, you know, your, your life expectancy sort of drop a little bit. You know. Perry, stop. Perry, stop. Perry, stop. <laughs> but, and that money in the bank just sits there. So she won't want one so she can collect all of it and just be all hers. Oh, that way she can just get her freak on there. Right. I wouldn't oh. be surprised if she tries to end up marrying one of the victims. <laughs> oh, well. I'm just going to put it out there. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Stop. I must stop. You, you guys me. are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Let's be Diana honest. He is would. here to try to legitimize the idea amongst the masses that she is a legit businesswoman. There you go. And her money is clean. There. Uh, yeah, Thank you, good. Christine. You just figured it out. She's right. trying to appear to be normal and not the monster that you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to have the opposite effect. But I'm I really going to start writing letters. Yeah, yeah, you're going to come across as self-made instead of self-laid. Yeah, I mean, is is it? But is Andy really going to get rid of Diana? And I'm just not sure, in all honesty, because with and I think actually what Diana did was worse than what Jenny Wen did because yeah. Jenny yeah. Wen she yeah. reshared stuff. Diana yeah. actually wrote that yeah. comment right. to yeah. this black and we know her intent. That's she actually casually, meant it too. Yeah, that right. Casually, she meant it. And she explained her intent when she wrote the letter to Garcelle in the letter. Oh, I do it. Well, how is she explaining to Mauricio? I come on soft and then I, I don't know, but she, she I, knew I can be destructive. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and just just nuclear she, strikes or something yeah. like that. She's she, the she was trying to be catchy. person on, in, in the entire franchise. I, I can't believe back in the day I thought Vicky Gumvelson was terrible. No, 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 no. This is evil on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Let's start taking calls. Hold on. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bella. How are you? Hi. Um, I like I y'all were talking about Diana. She just posted on Instagram talking like talking about Garcelle that she um had like gave money to Haiti and she gave money to black people. It was kind of like the white savior type of complex that she's having right Tell now. Tell me what I'm looking at up right now. <laughs> Yeah, let me look it up. She's saying that she gave money to Haiti. Please tell me your joke. Yeah, she's like, I helped your people, Garcelle. Like, oh, but you know, I, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, so know what the is this. I'm not racist. Oh my I god, I'm a hungry black. She is so right. Oh uh, yeah, I can read it. Screen. She's uh, a, uh, one of my followers sent it to me. She said, "Dear Garcelle, next time you go on national television, why don't you educate viewers on how many times I went to Haiti?" your home country 
Why don't you tell them how many planes full of first aid and medical supplies I sent to Haiti? Why don't you tell viewers how many millions of my dollars I have given to your country? A woman from <laughs> Bosnia did that. You, I got to reread it, Freddie. You're having mic troubles. Oh. This is worse than having a black person at your wedding. This is worse. And Crystal <laughs> co-signed it. What's, what's that? No, she said Crystal in the comments because she said, P.S. Crystal is not a liar. And then Crystal Minkoff replied, I sure ain't. Where? And uh, you can see it over on the. Oh, well, I see it on my screen. I'm sorry. I see where she says, P.S. Crystal's not a liar. I don't see where Crystal co signed it. Oh, wait, hold on. Here's one. This is yikes. Well, let me read it again. So okay, everyone can sorry, hear. go ahead. It says, Dear Garcelle, the next time you go on national television, why don't you educate viewers on how many times I went to Haiti? This infuriates me. This infuriates me. Your home country. Why don't you tell them how many planes full of first aid and medical supplies I sent to Haiti? I am furious. I don't give a dick. So, so you sent some supplies to Haiti, which I doubt. You're probably lying. Where's your receipt? Why don't you tell viewers how many millions of dollars I have given your country? Your country. A woman from Bosnia did that. Also, you could have mentioned all the money I have given and everything I have done for women's rights. Please, in, in Congo, in the Congo and 100% black communities. I am so mad, hold on. You are very familiar with all the work I have done for human rights all around the globe. So this is her explanation of us overlooking all the sex trafficking you did and all your racist comments. I, she was referencing Garcelle because when um, Andy Cohen um, asked her about um, her comments, Garcelle by her comments, Garcelle said that she was uneducated. And Garcia could have gone in, and that was her response. Garcia could have said she's racist, but Garcia could have said right. she's ignorant. The only thing Garcia said was uneducated about the black content creator, and she went on a tangent. Exactly. And I think this is a lie, Diana. I don't think you've given to anybody, not even Bosnia. You're but a liar. You're a sex trafficker that takes advantage of children. I hate this woman. Let me start bringing up more people. Hold I can't on. believe what, that. What that post basically translated to me was, uh, was Diana basically saying, you're black, I'm white, yeah. I donated money to your country to yeah. respect me because I'm better, I'm richer than you, and you basically owe me. Right. She said, I helped you poor Negroes. That's what I did. <laughs> That's what she said, <laughs> damn it. I translated it to uh from uh English to you know everybody yeah I, I let y'all know what she really she said. It's deplorable and I think this is a lie. She could come out and say she donated to all these black countries. I don't give a damn. Hold right. on, Eva said something. Hold on. Sherelle, she gave money to the stores for all these bags. She's Horrible diva. You're right. right. I think this is Horrible. a damn lie. I think she's saying that because people are calling you out for being racist, for your behavior last night to sudden. You're disgusting. But do you and know I'm why? gonna start writing letters to Bravo? Shame on you, Andy Cohen. Here you go, covering Damn. up for Kathy, who we still haven't seen. And now you're not saying anything addressing the sex trafficking rumors, talking about the uh what you did to children. I can't. Uh, Angie says, it took decades to get Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. It will catch up with her. It's going to start with me. Money laundering <laughs> and S abuse and child exploitation. I really don't like The child exploitation is the worst of the worst. Yeah, like, right. I can't stand anybody that takes advantage of children. Right. Yeah. Is that and then you're a liar. I'm calling you out. Post your receipts, liar. Mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't uh, donate to anybody. You're a liar. I'm I would say that me. a lot of people donate to Haiti, but the thing is, where does the money doesn't actually go to the people? So, like, you can say you yeah. donate all you want. Where, like, where is the money actually going to? Are you just is this, is this a tax right. break? Is like you can say all this. Like, that is disrespectful. I don't know. Then, I, then you have and, some people. 
that would just donate to one of these things just so they can excuse their racism and saying, hey, I fed a hungry black, so right. I can say these things. Yes, yeah, just because you donated mine. money doesn't mean nothing. And she doesn't have time to donate. You're too busy taking advantage of children. Right. I don't believe she gave one penny. And you were telling us last week, uh, Freddie, about some scan she did to save her money or something like this. Okay, so uh, what I was going to say is about charities. The reason why so many of these celebrities and rich people donate to charities is because of the tax benefit you get. There you go. So I think that's one of her first things. I think the second thing she does uh, donate to charities is it's a way to get close to celebrities and meet people that are influential that could then help her with her sort of business. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That that's why she does. I believe she does donate money. Um, otherwise, she wouldn't be able to be a part of these charities. And she does that to meet people, whether that's for friendship, right, or for other uses. She's but, horrible. She's. But what does donate money to help? Like Garcelle has actually went to Haiti, helped people with her own hands. Donating yeah. money to only. Well, she did. Art. She did have a charity in Haiti with Sean Penn. Right, Diana Jenkins, yes. With Sean Penn. With Sean, yeah, because I said this a few weeks ago on on your channel, Sherelle, and that <laughs> and I said that basically what happened was they had this charity, and then at the time Haiti was sort of getting um, strict and investigating how people were human trafficking and stuff through uh, with Haiti. Um, Diana and Sean Penn's charities were one of the pe- charities that closed around that time. Now, no one ever said why it closed down, but it's a bit ironic that it sort of closed down during the time that Haiti were sort of closing charities wow. down who, who were accused of sort of uh, trafficking. Oh, my God. Mm. Let me say this really quick so I don't spend the whole time talking about Diana. Uh, Dorit decided to bring her mother into her horrible storyline of the robbery. So now the mom came to visit because of the robbery. I can't. Oh, God. I got another week of this robbery. Where was she she in the first beginning? That's what I want to know. Like, where was she in the first beginning of the season? It's so long right. to get there. I know. It's so like, <laughs> and speaking, speaking, yeah, where was she at? Anyway, yeah, I got a bone to pick with Diana and Kyle because they both got on my nerves last right, night. Let me give these yeah. girls like, really <laughs> now, now, Diana, see, this is my bone I got to pick with her. So now you want to get all tough gangster, but you were backpedaling and pussy popping when you were at that table in, in Mexico when you were crying your eyes out. Uh, make it make sense, darling. You, now you want to talk about um, you want to be a villain and all this stuff. Quick, the tough act. You were crying your eyes out when Sutton was giving it, giving you the business, and now you want to, and then you want to cry in Mexico. Now, now, when you all in Garcelle's um, 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 place, now you want to act tough, girl. Now, Kyle, you need to get out. Of, you need to stay out of it now. If I was Sutton, I would have told her, stay out of it. Don't touch me. She was touching Sutton like crazy um, when um, Sutton was arguing with Diana. Now, Kyle, you need to get out of folks' business. Let them talk about it. Like, they're talking about it. Like, Sutton was hitting on Diana. Sutton was reading her down, and she should have done that because uh, last season with Erica. See, that was my only gripe with Sutton. It's like, I wish you would have done this with Erica. See, if you had did this with Erica last season, I definitely, it would have been much better. But I was so happy that she got that soulless piece of crap to so so Period. Team so set all day, every day. I think we should uh, put something in Diana's comment section. Hold on, let me read this really quick. Clearly, this is the reason Nini is going to win her case against Bravo. Yeah, because they have knowingly given Diana a huge, a huge platform for racism. What yep. should we say, uh, Perry, Freddie, and AT2 to respond to Diana's bullshit posting? I don't know what to say that would be nice. <laughs> that will oh, because no, you know no. you, uh, Instagram no, no. will block your comment automatically if you say something, right? Yeah, uh, Shiro, the I only thing say... I can think of is go educate yourself. Cheryl, could, could I just say I actually can't really help you out on that because Diana Jenkins blocked me. So <laughs> no. 
Right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so I have to get someone else to do it on my behalf. But <laughs> right. interestingly is Lisa Rinna the other day on Instagram uploaded a picture with Diana Jenkins and loads of people were commenting like, I don't like her. She should leave the show. Why isn't she? Why isn't? Di why won't Diana get fired and things like that? And Lisa Rinna deleted all the comments, the negative comments about Diana. That ain't no, that ain't no surprise. That's a chick. Really? That ain't no surprise. No way. I mean, you know, they they two they two peas in the pod. They both in that book uh, in that book twenty three. I mean, Lisa trying to protect her for some odd reason. We already know that reason is. Say, so she was in room twenty two. This mean you like black people now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Post. There you go. Can't stand her. Can't Sherelle, stand her. I do want to say um Garcelle did post on her story like this little quote. It says, remaining classy and removing yourself from situations that might take you out of character is a superpower. And that was an hour ago. So I think that's her response to what Diana said. I don't think Garcelle think... needs to respond. She don't. Garcelle don't need to give that bitch oh, a time of the day, pay her dust, just like she did at the party when she was getting on her about talking about if she's Sutton's mouthpiece. No, she's not. She's being a good friend like some of these, some of these uh, ladies are supposed to be. That's mm -hmm. what it is, Diana. So you know that Sutton wasn't um, trying to outshine you when you were telling your story. They both were getting to know you on that boat, so they weren't doing nothing to you. And here you go trying to um, um, demean them and, 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 and demoralize their characters by saying that they were taking your shine away. How dare you? I hate going off on this channel, Sherelle. Y'all know me, but you got a loud echo today. I don't know what's yes, going on. I, me going because my heart was pumping before I even came on, so that's why I was like, That lady needs to get off, she's a waste of time and space. I don't know he what. And the writing hey, Kendrick, why is your wife you know, what is wrong with that man? That man, but he, I don't know what it is that that messy queen, I don't know what it is. His mind is just wrapped around the gutter. Like, where are you getting these women from? Andy like, I don't is this racism. He doesn't right. care about uh, if you talk about his own community. His bottom line is money. That's what I exactly think. money and weightness. That's it. He don't give a he don't give a damn about nobody else's safety and consideration of feelings or nothing that none of that. He's worried about you know getting these ratings up for these shows. That is it. That's all he's there. He's a he's a scapegoat and a conduit for these ne that network. That is it. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is. Uh, I got a long line. Hey, Kendrick, Kendrick, I'm gonna have to drop you. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Hey, drop Kendrick, you too, Bella. Your, your, your mic coming in loud for two days. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know how you fix it. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, okay, so I, gotta start a, I mean, some people. Gary, I have to not, start rotating okay. calls. Thank, thank you. Uh, have a nice day, Kendrick. Take. Thank you so much, yeah. Bella, and for giving thank us you. the. Uh, information about I think it's because uh, I'm, I'm myself in this basement. I think that's probably why. I, I think you. it's all right. all right. Okay. Thank you. Because right. hmm. we got a lot of people. I'm trying to get a lot of people in. Ooh. Hi, uh, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. How hey, are guys. you? What did you want to add to the conversation? Because we're pretty much heated and we. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Well, what I want to say is so for the Andy piece that you guys were just talking about, I think he knows everything. I think he wants it to come out on the show so that he can get more viewers. And he can say that he his show was the one that started it all. Mm. Yeah, but mm. sex trafficking and taking advantage of children. I know. I, I, by the way, I agree with you. Andy, you Andy Cohen's bottom line is money. Exactly. You could talk about his community. You could talk about racism, anything. He doesn't care. If he thinks it's going to make people watch, then that's what he's <clears> going to do. Yeah, That's and right. you know what I loved? Okay. Uh, speaking of that, I don't know if you caught it. So last night on the show, um, Sutton said, I have your number, 8675309. <laughs> so that's a number yeah. people write on bathroom stall. Yeah. So she's pretty much telling her that she's a pimp. <laughs> yeah. It's a song, isn't it? Isn't it a song? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a song right. too. Uh, AJ, what do, you, what do you think about Diana in these oh rumors about her making children do unthinkable acts? Whew. 
this is sick. She needs to be stopped. But also, I just wanted to say quickly, you know, when you were reading her Instagram, Lisa Renna commented as well in the comments. And she put, when you have receipts, you show them. Now, she, she is clearly on what Diana's does she mean side. By that? What does that mean? Well, she's, well, it looks like she's on Diana's side and she's saying, when you have receipts I'm and evidence, you show you. it. So talk your... You she know, keeps but what fiercely protecting Diana. Well, What's going she's on here? Her, I think she's she, talking her shit. Yeah, she's so in the So that's why Lisa Ren is in the book. So do you so think that Lisa Ren make... probably used to work for Diana? No, I don't think Ooh. she worked for her, but I think her being in the book, she's trying to legitimize Diana somehow because right. if Diana goes down, then she's a part of that book too. So she probably goes down too. Same thing with her and her um, allegiance with Erica. Apparently she gave mm. Erica money back in the day. The $5 million, so, yeah. Exactly. I think Freddie. Luna could be a paid oh. sort of friend of Diana's to help legitimize her. So Rinna agreed to do the book. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Freddie. You think <laughs> money has exchanged between Rinna and, and Diana. She's potentially. She's because since last night when we were live, I've had a little rethink about things. I don't see Rinna being like in like that type of like the prosy. I type do. Stuff. I do. I do. That. However, what I could yeah. see Rinna doing is she would basic some Diana would go, Oh, I really want to maybe get on the show and I need to help being legitimized by someone that's well known. Someone like Kim Kardashian is going to go, No, F off. I don't really want your association. Mm -hmm. Right. Doing that. Or, but it's not really a stretch for Lisa Renna, really. I don't so think. What, yeah, but she'll do anything for a dollar. And it makes sense yeah. that Lisa Renna would be potentially. I paid think he's and... on to something. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. going too hard. Yeah. And plus, she's going too hard. hard. Plus, and why is she defending her? Yes. Why, she, why does she have to comment under her Instagram post as go. well? Today, this is really it. bizarre. She's covering her tracks. She's they want their association with being rich because they see Diana as like something that they want to be. And they're like, oh, wow, this woman has mm -hmm. so much money. And they're mm -hmm. hyped up on that. So they want to be associated with that. Right. Yeah. They don't care that she's a racist Diana, right, right. and alleged oh, child. No. 18, like, they yeah. want to be associated <laughs> with it. Oh. And then Lisa Renner, we all know it's, it's no boundaries for her. She would do anything for a buck. Whether yeah. it's sleep in room 21. 22 and 23, she would do it. <laughs> she would. And, you know, Freddie, did you see um, the Caroline Stanbury liked it as well? Yes, the I post. did see that. Caroline the Stanbury. Very, very, and that, and, the and then her, of her boy boy dude, Sergio Shocking. Torello, he, he's, oh. he was dumb for, for liking a racist, um, for saying the N-word right. on Twitter mm. a few mm. weeks ago. Exposed this is just too much for me to handle. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Andy is she really screwing it. up here. She got yes. a lot of likes. She liked it. And she's been, you know, she, mm. she, uh, let me just give you some tea. She's actually Caroline Stanbury and um, Diana go way back to their okay. socialite days. Yes. You know, in, in London. London. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they go way, way back. They've known each other many, many, many years. Well, and mm -hmm. you know that. And did you know Caroline Stanbury used to date Prince Andrew as well? The pedophile. Well, she's in good company so, then. So. I mean, she's denying. She's Maxwell, denied. They're all together. They all know each other. Yeah. Yeah. She's denied. She's denied that she's ever. But we've seen that there are pictures with mm -hmm. Caroline Stanbury and Prince Andrew. I thought that was yes, amazing. Thing. Like, that's how she's she has gone on, ladies of London. I'm sure she said it herself that she used to, and I think she sort of like dropped it. But when she was on Watch What Happens Live, he Andy Cohen did ask her, do you know any, any royalty? And she went, yeah, yeah, I know a few of them. But she didn't fail to mention she used to date Prince Andrew. But this is so much. Are you um, kidding me? So much tea. No, it's true. It's shocking. And no, they and all she's have friends. This... She's good friends with the ruler of Dubai's daughter because Princess Latifah, who was that that whole case yeah. on, who got she gave Caroline Stanbury a dog at the end of last year. We gotta is get the, Caroline fired. We gotta get we gotta get Diana fired. 
I'm, I'm going to start. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. No, we do. I'm not joking. Here, I got a long line. No. Uh, thank you so much, AJ, for calling in. And thank, thank you, you Ash Ashley. I appreciate the call. Take care. All right, bye, guys. guys. Bye. 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 I got a lot of people today. Hi, Sebastian. Hi, Philly. Hello. Yeah, Sebastian, Philly sound Diva. off. What do you want to add to Okay, this? first of all, Diana pr putting that post proves how she's being very classist and trying to be a make herself sound elite when you donate to a company or anywhere that you donate for a human rights issue you're not supposed to use it as a brag brag card you don't mm -hmm. use that as a brag card mm -hmm. these are people who are suffering mm -hmm. that you don't do that that is just disrespectful and um i feel like she is involved with the alleged human trafficking that does happen in haiti with these charities and organizations that take these young girls and bring them all over the globe i do oh, think she's involved God. with that because especially the fact that she's been with Sean Penn, who's very controversial mm. with these issues and might be doing certain things in Ukraine, too, allegedly. Mm. Um, so, like, they just keep going around to these poor countries, taking these young girls, promising them everything. Because, obviously, I feel bad for them. They have nothing. Obviously, they're going to take it into it. But they should not be doing this. This is just wrong. And... I want Garcelle to bring that Room 23 book to the reunion. I will 100% love it if she does. She should have thrown it in the fireplace. Hopefully she already burnt it. She should uh, bring it to hi, the uh, uh, Philly, how are you? I'm good. I'm busy on Thursdays. Like, it's lit lit now on Thursdays for me, so. Wait, is this the Philly Diva? Yes, yes. Oh, it's Philly Oh, you mean, oh my yes. God. Exclusive. Oh my gosh. So what made you what what did you say to her to prompt this that response? Okay, so just like everybody else, I've been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. From the beginning of the season, we see her saying how she's allergic to dust. She doesn't go into stores. She's a you know, we see her with this facade of better than well and that's okay if that's you like i'm not hating on that however there was a post on twitter that compared her two faces from 20 years ago to now and i made the comment oh the first phase must be the one that was the poor refugee and went into <laughs> the stores and the second one must be the one that's allergic to dust doesn't go into the outlets and is allergic to shop. <laughs> so I have never come for her looks. That was not me. I reposted the tweet. Now, yep. what she did was she came onto my page that had at the time less than 10 followers. Had you been, had you been uh, posting the post before? Hours. I was had this the page three hours, Sherelle, three hours. I had posted um, post actually pictures of me at a YouTube event. So I was building, kind of laying the foundation of I watch Bravo. I, you you were you were with Adam up yeah. and Adam, and yeah, I saw mm -hmm. that. So, but you, but you're not even like a blogger, right? No, this was a Bravo fan page I literally just created from watching a uh, uh, Real Housewives that night on June 6th, like 16th or 17th. It was my mom's birthday. So I'm not even thinking about this help. Like, <laughs> I, 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 am, I am living my, my life, chilling. So again, I did not say anything about her looks. And, and just to be fair, because she wanted to say that was a 20 year old picture. Here's a 20 year old picture of me. <laughs> okay. It's the same face. So, it's so Diva, you never, face. you never uh, bullied no. this woman before. No. You never had any interactions with her before. No. She just saw a black woman, didn't she? She did. She saw somebody who had no followers, no posts, no interaction, no engagement. So when she said, "Oh, but this is this and this," fine. If those, if that's how you feel, fine. But keep that same energy with the white man that created this 24 hours ago on Twitter. 
keep that same energy exactly. for people who are posting over on Twitter that you need to be fired and don't have a storyline. Keep mm-hmm. that same energy with the people who are talking about your book and saying that you're an alleged sex trafficker. Don't come to my page. Yeah. That has right. less than 10 right. followers. Well, why do you think she did that to you? Because I tagged her and I got time to death. <laughs> Oh, right. No, I did that and I got not. But, but, but yes, this is, uh, Philly's got a good point here because I, I sort of did that and tagged her and she didn't say anything. She just blocked me, but she goes for Philly because she's black. Whereas yeah. for me, mm-hmm. like, she can't say, oh, you white person. Like, I don't really <laughs> What a white blogger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I feel like what? shut up, ex prostitute woman. So let me ask you, Philly, now that you've had interaction with her and you've been her victims, how would you describe this woman? Do you believe the sex trafficking? I'll see her next Tuesday. How about that? (laughs) 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 Do you believe the uh, rumors about the sex trafficking and the uh, uh, P files? Um. After watching like all of the documentaries on Epstein, what documentaries on Epstein and Maxwell oh, and, uh. and how that money mm-hmm. flows and where it flows, I think that those types of uh, uh, uber wealthy 0.01% in, in that area. Do you um, think she'll ever get? Point. Do you think she'll ever co- uh, pay the no. price for what she's done? No. Well, I don't want to say no. The thing is, the reason that Ma- uh, Ghislaine Maxwell and Epstein were able to be convicted was because people spoke out. No, no victims, alleged victims, are speaking out against her. No one is saying she set mm. them up to do this. They're probably still and, kids. They may still be Ooh. little kids, like. I allegedly, I don't know. I don't know that. I can't say yes and no to the. I'm just right. speaking from what I have seen on different documentaries. Those victims spoke up. So we we heard something, Freddie, about come from Robert Downey Jr. Right, but it was vague. It was vague, and plus he plus we never got. He never actually got physically said that we got nothing to back up that he actually did say those oh, words. Okay. If it was the actual Robert Downey Jr. actor. This Um, woman is getting away with the most atrocious acts, and she wants to be famous, and she wants to legitimize herself. She's disgusting. What are your thoughts, Philly, on Andy Cohen? Um, Andy Cohen is here for a check. Um, (laughs) Like, and and, and that's what it is. Andy Cohen is, is, is in here for a check. And he will continue to, he's watching, like, bravo interns, bravo, hi, bravo, like, we see you watching. Like, let's just put that out there. So. <laughs> we know. We, we, we know. know Don't watching. we, Freddie? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, they go, oh, mm-hmm. I'm going to watch Sherelle's World today. <laughs> as, that's I'm your homework. You. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's your homework. Watch the YouTube after uh, the show's here. Um, what I don't, I, I don't know if. You know, there was enough, um, like, Kelly Dodd backlash or uh, Jenny Wynn backlash to get her fired. Um, mm-hmm. I would hope so. Uh, a- as Vicky says, birds of a feather flock together. I'm not flocking with that bird. Thank you, baby. I'm not flocking with that bird. There right? you go. There you go. You get attention right. from me on Thursdays because I make your ratings go up. Like, nobody's thinking about you. Right. you Let me say this to you, Philly. I'm sorry that Diana did that to you. Yeah. She's pure trash. But I hate that it happened to you, but it put a spotlight on she's racist. It put a spotlight right. on she's racist. And racist. race, yes, sweetheart, racist. You know what racist yeah, you means, said, right? Yeah. Okay. You said it wrong. Okay, I said it wrong. <laughs> you know, it, it put a spotlight on her. Yeah. It gave me an additional seven thousand eight hundred followers. So, are you serious? Right. I am. Yeah, I don't have to about that. I was starting to think maybe I should comment. I appreciate it. I have a little watch what happens live moment. Um, it's it's. Thank you. Like, what do you mean you had a watch what happens live moment? Did you uh, not see watch what happened live last night? 
No, what happened? They mentioned her. Yeah, they asked uh, about the uh, black content. That's the, gar- the question that Garcelle okay, answered. Well said. I want to know, and did Andy confront her being making the racist comments? Okay, so yes, he, sa- he said, do you think that Diana's racist? And uh, Garcelle said something along the lines of uh, she's, she's ignorant. uneducated. She's, she's ignorant. What she wanted to say was she's ignorant. But she said she's uneducated because, you know, Gar- Garcella has a bit of class. <sighs> wow. Hey, I missed but that I part. Mean, what these housewives and um, PK need to learn is that you boost our profile when you call me out. Like when you right. call me Did you just throw PK, PK in there? <laughs> yeah. I'm going off <laughs> fat boy Kenzie. For the record, I'm going to clear this up because yeah. it pisses me off. PK never sued me. Yeah, no, and he didn't so sue me. So people either. that are spreading that rumor, that's a lie. Me and PK and and um, Freddie had a moment, <laughs> and that was it. No, it's it okay. wasn't Freddie. It was uh, uh, Gabor, and Gabor, that's it. Yeah. That's it. You guys, we were never sued by PK. So cut it out. Stop it. I- he, he, he can't want to do that. That, that put to too me. much attention on that damn robbery, and he no, do not want to. He do just that. need to he pay the casinos. That, he says that he'll threaten a lawsuit as a way to get try and scare people to get them to shut up. But at the end of the day, we've seen his finances, and no, he probably couldn't afford an attorney anyway. <laughs> allegedly, yeah. I mean, he need to act like Jared <laughs> and go to Subway. Okay, don't something. run on a, a public defender's. <laughs> right. Oh, God. All right. Look, thank you so much, Philly, for coming on. You have an open invitation. You should come back next week because we will be dragging her every time I go on the air. <laughs> this woman needs to be off the air. She's horrible. She's racist. You take advantage of women. You take advantage of children. You are the most the ho- most horrible housewife throughout the whole franchise yes. of all time. You're disgusting. And just in case you didn't know, I hate your guts. Damn, right. Okay. I'm sorry that she did that to you uh, Philly you took one for the team Because you put a spotlight on A racist person trying to yeah. get Notoriety thank so. you for exposing her yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thank you If not for that we would be still talking about the starry storyline Yeah well <laughs> She exposed herself I just laughed at her uh, I, I don't have a problem At all clearing a bitch so it's just kind of thank like- you. well then I'll see you next week. Same time. <laughs> okay. <we'll do> that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sebastian. I gotta start wrapping this up. Thank you so much, okay. guys. That was Bye. good. Uh I gotta uh wrap this up because I have to come back with the are you coming with us, AT2? If you feel like it, if you're not busy, to talk about Tommy. Uh it- yes. Yeah, that was Let's Tommy talk Williams about it. admit yeah. it. That there's something wrong with Wendy Williams, and finally he's admitted it. He finally you know what? Though no, I actually yeah. heard the tape, but we'll talk about it Here, later. Don't tell the details. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that later. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Freddie, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. I'm always around. Eighty-two, All you right. have an open invitation. You can call me last minute. I'll pull you out the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, you're one of my best friends on YouTube. We love AT2s like yes, little brothers. It's all love. It's all love. I saw you last night on another concert. Well, I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> all right, thank you. I'm going to wrap this up here. Uh, if I didn't get to your call backstage, I do apologize. I am simply out of time. Yeah. I will be back at our scheduled time. Yeah. Uh, we'll do an after so- show on my channel if y'all still want to drag Diana. Yeah. I know. <laughs> also, please don't forget to click that like button. It really helps my video. Uh, we'll be back at 2.30 uh, Pacific on three. Guys, let's say bye. One, two, three. Bye, Bye, guys.